Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I just want to show you a quick messy bun hack because um, I've been seeing so many bloggers for years like have these huge voluminous messy buns and a lot of times I thought oh it's because they have these huge tie-in extensions in that are making their buns really voluminous but then I started noticing that a lot of girls with shorter hair still had really voluminous looking messy buns and a lot of the times I would try to do you know a cute little messy bun and you guys have seen those meme where it's like how I imagine myself looking with a messy bun um, and it looks like big and voluminous and beautiful and then the reality is like this little teeny tiny bun and it looks like the evil teacher from Matilda with like her tiny bun and the like greasy hair sticking out so a lot of the times I would try to do a little messy bun and it would just end up really like tiny and sad like this um, and then I saw this trick on Instagram and it's really just changing my life lately and especially during these quarantine times I have been striving to do no heat on my hair so and my roots are really grown out so there's just really not a lot of cute hairstyles I can do when it so desperately needs a trim um, wearing it down just looks really scraggly and gross so I'm just really opting to wear it in a messy bun all the time so first to get started I'm gonna use this this is like a slip um, silk hair tie I get these at Sephora I just ordered another three pack in the sale um, and I love this because my hair is really damaged and breaking so my sister slash hairdresser recommended that I switch to all silk hair ties I love my Invisibobble ones I think those hold really well and don't crimp your hair but these ones have been a little gentler on my hair and um, they definitely do crimp my hair a little bit but it's worth it to me to save the integrity of my hair and not have as much breakage. So I'm gonna be using that. And then first I'm gonna use this Kristen S. Dry Finish Working Texture Spray, which is a favorite of mine. I get this at Target, it's super affordable. I think this is a great dupe for um, the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray or whatever it's called and all those other kind of um, texturizing sprays. The reason I like this one is because it's dry and not sticky and for me again since I have such color treated breakage prone hair I don't like anything sticky because I just feel like my hair like breaks a lot easier and I just don't like the feeling of my hair when it's really sticky and texturized so I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this um on the top of my hair here and especially kind of at the crown back here so that I get some good volume going because the other key to the messy bun looking good is that your hair is nice and voluminous. And also this is like third day hair. I did go for a run yesterday and today, so it's really greasy. Um, and this, I did apply my Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder dry shampoo at night the last two nights and that really helps save my hair. And then I've just been trying to apply this in the mornings instead of so much dry shampoo. And I feel like this is really kind of getting the job done. My hair is super fine, so it's never going to look super voluminous, but um, this is what I do first. And then if you need to, you can brush through your hair. Mine's pretty um, tangle-free at the moment, so I'm just combing through it with my fingers. And what I'm going to do is just take all my hair and gather it up and make sure I'm happy with how the sides look. Make sure everything's good. Okay, and I'm not gonna worry about how tight to my head it is for now. I'm just gonna make sure it's as high as I want. So I want it pretty high and on the top of my head. And I'm just gonna wrap the hair tie around twice. And then on the third time, I'm gonna just leave it through like this. And I'm really left out quite a long tail and not doing very much because I'm gonna kind of loosen all of the rest of my hair and try to give it a little bit more of a voluminous look on top which again very difficult since my hair is very fine and mine never ends up looking like super voluminous if you have thick hair um, this is probably gonna look a lot better or if you've had your hair curled or anything this probably would look even better I'm just rocking with the natural straight hair okay so that's probably as much as I'm gonna pull it out because I don't want to get too crazy because it starts to get messy and then I always pull out these little pieces by the ear just because that tends to be cute okay and then I'm gonna move on to the bun and I'm just gonna start pulling this through a little bit more I like to do the pulling through first before I do this um, it just makes it a lot easier 
So I'm just pulling that out a little bit, not going crazy. And then I'm going to take this tail that's behind and sweep it towards the front and try to like pull it totally to the beginning. So now I have my tail kind of resting in the front like this and you can fan it out and do whatever, but I just like to make sure it's towards the front. And then what I'm gonna, this is the hack right here. I'm gonna take it and kind of in a sweeping motion like this, I'm gonna twist it just a little bit and then grab the hair tie here and tuck it under. And then I'm gonna also spread this around. And that right there is just an amazing hack to cover the um, hair tie if you're ever doing a bun and you can leave it like that. But then I also take these two kind of edge pieces and grab them and I'm just gonna tuck those into the back part of the hair tie. And then you can just kind of mess it up and keep playing around. But that makes, I think, my bun look exponentially more voluminous than it would have otherwise. And that's it. So that's kind of my messy bun hack for making a little bit of a, sorry, I've been looking at the mirror the whole time and trying to adjust the bun. But that is my hack for making your bun look a little bit more voluminous if you do have fine or shorter hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tip. You can um, just keep messing it up and spray more texturizing spray if you want it to be even messier. If you have longer hair than mine, it's gonna look even better and you can keep um, finessing it. I don't really mind if my hair tie is showing on the side cause I'm not that picky, but if you want, you can keep grabbing pieces and kind of tucking it in to the hair tie to cover it. I'll do it just a little bit on this side. And there you go. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up. And this one I probably didn't do as far forward as I should have. I like to kind of have these come a little bit more forward on the top of my head. But this is it for my messy bun hack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below of any video you'd like to see next on my channel. And I'll see you next time.